Okay, how's everybody doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal H Technology Screens using nanotechnology gain. Now, I've seen some videos popping up <clears throat> here and there about, you know, people talking about how their black screens are the best, their black screens are better than any other black screen out there on the market, they have the blackest screen in the world. Well, let me explain something to you. Black is black. You can't get any blacker than black. If your screen is black, it's not the blackest screen in the world. It's just simply just black. But let me explain something to you in this demonstration. It is a difference between having the black screen and having the brightest black screen. Now our screens are a form of very, very dark, dark, dark gray, which are passable for black. Um, keep in mind that even being this dark, as you can see, it can still produce a bright enough picture to be able to match. Let me show you a front piece of cheap metal. This is sheet metal right here. You can see it's very reflective. This right here is the Seymour AV 1.3. Look at the color of that screen. This right here is a, that's another Seymour AV 1.3. Yeah, it is. All right, this is a Seymour AV 1.3. Oh, this is their, sorry about that. That's their MS right there. I'm gonna come over here real quick and show you what we have over here. This is the Dark Star 9. This is a more superior screen than the Cinema Gray 5 3, I mean 3 5 or 5D. Firehawk G4. Of course, we always add in my favorite of all DMP Supernova. Now, look at the colors of the screens. Let me show how light these screens are. We have sheet metal, we have these high end light screens, and then we have our dark screen. Now, in this demonstration, I will show you exactly how bright our black screens are. Now, this is the luminous uh, black 4K. Now, in this demonstration, I do challenge anyone else who cares to do the exact same demonstration we did. Um, interesting to see because we've done this demonstration even against another black screen and the screen still produced a higher and brighter uh, white level than a black screen. Now, the reason why we're doing this demonstration is to show you that even if the screen is dark, you don't have to worry about being too dark because it still can produce fair white levels that are better than any black screen out there in the market. All right, so projector sitting 14 feet from the screen. All right, we're using our ViewSonic 3200 lumen projector and 720, sorry, not 720p, 1080p, sorry about that. No 4K upscaling, uh, no form of uh, the calibration and the projector still set in the factory default settings. Now, question. What makes your black screen different from everybody else's? I will show you what makes the luminous different from everyone else's. Now, keep in mind, I see demonstrations where people have the screen behind a bed or tucked down low to the floor. This is an unfair advantage for the screen and for also to someone who's watching it because that's an unfair advantage to them. Well, an unfair advantage if they buy it because the bottom line is the screen should be up high. So bottom line that there's light in contact with the screen, not sitting low. So I had a screen sitting down here and I have my projector down low. That means any light coming in is bypassing the screen. See what I mean? So this is kind of stuff you gotta look out for. All right, so let me, let me get started on this, okay? So we can begin. And there you go. Now, not only can the luminous produce a bright enough level to be able to match some of these high-end screens, but let me get over here real quick and get a better, better, better shot here. Can match some of these high-end screens, but also too, it produces better contrast. With better contrast, it'll have darker blues, darker yellows, just gives you back so much more. Now mind you, right there is a piece of sheet metal. That's sheet metal right there, and that's our screen. So our screen is producing a high enough white level, bright enough picture to match a piece of sheet metal. That's it, right there in the corner, that's sheet metal. That's the difference between our technology and what's out there on the market. Now that's a Seymour, come over here for a minute. I'm sorry about cutting in front of the camera. That is a Seymour AV 1.3. That is the MS right there. That is a DMP Supernova right there. The Dark Star 9. Hmm. Oh, Firehawk G4 in the corner. I'm trying to remember what screen that was. Now look at that. Now just to add insult to injury, we're gonna come over here and we're going to open up our windows. 
all the way up. All right, so we got condensed lighting all the way up. Come back here. As you can see, the window is in line with the screen, not sitting down low where it's bypassing it. Because what they'll do is they'll show a projector in the window or a projector near a lot of ambient light or some light, and then they'll put the screen down low and then the light that's coming in is probably just lightly cascading on, this, on the screen. You have to have it in line with the screen. Keep it realistic. Okay. I'm going to go over here. You have to pull it back this way. I think I have to pull it back here. I'm going to come over here for a minute. Open up my door. A bit there. All right, I got a big bay window. We all know that. We've seen the big bay window before. Those of you who haven't seen the big bay windows, this is my big bay window. All right, we're going to open this all the way up. Right here, so we got the light, door, and reverse. And there's the screen right there. Brightest black projection screen on the market. All right, now, come over here. Let's drop the blinds. Take all the lights out. Get it nice and dark in here. Now the reason why those other screens didn't show up too well is because some of these screens have something called a narrow viewing cone. A narrow viewing cone is where a screen has to be uh, directly in line with the projector. A little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, too much lighting in the environment. That's why a lot of these, some of these screens need something called ambient light controlled environments. Too much light in the environment will cause the screen to become dark. Now there we are, look at that. That is a sheet of aluminum. That is our screen. Look at all the sample sheets that blended in, including the white wall. But our screen produces better contrast levels. Now, come back over here again. Turn our lights on and you'll see the screens turn a little dark gray. So these screens will turn dark gray. That's because that's what call that's like too much ambient light is hitting the screen. Now, I'm gonna come here for a minute. I'm gonna remove everything I have from here. Trying to get the sheet metal to stand up right. Sheet metal has a mind of its own. Now you see all that bright lighting that was coming right here, all that bright lighting coming right down in there. Hit my screen, because I'll have some people say, well, it's not fair because, you know, your screen's not sitting under the light. All right, so be it. There you go. There's my screen sitting under all that light. Keep in mind, this is Seymour AV 1.3. See how light that screen is? See how light that screen is? Watch this. Able to match it with no problem whatsoever. See, sorry about that. I was trying to get the aluminum to sit up there just so, but it wouldn't. I think I'm gonna have to put it on the box and do it side by side. All right, so if the camera's moving around a lot, I do apologize. Just want to give you the full effect of it all, you know what I mean? I'm trying to give you the full effect. All right, now we got the sheet of aluminum right next to our screen. And there it is, right there. I'm gonna block this off real quick so you can see for yourself. There's the aluminum. There's our screen. There you go. Need I said any more? Like I said, need I say any more? See, I can have con the light directly on top of the screen. Piece of sheet, sheet of aluminum in high-end lighter screens, and our screen still blends in with no problem whatsoever. That is the difference between our black screens and any other black screen out there on the market. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I'm Kenneth from Crystal Itch Technology Screens using nanotechnology gain. Thank you all.